Hey, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to edit a little bit quicker in Final Cut Pro reusing overlays that you use often without having to recreate them or find them in other projects. Let's get into it. What exactly am I referring to when I say overlays? Well, overlays like like these ones right here, the the Instagram and, and Twitter, connect with me on social if you want. But yeah, I use these in every single one of my videos, just about. Maybe you use something similar or subscribe buttons, kind of like, uh, like these right here. Maybe use those in a lot of videos. Now, there's a variety of overlays and callouts that you can purchase on different websites. I'm, I'm not going to get into that, but I'm going to show you how to reuse them more efficiently in all your videos. Now, instead of having to drag those overlays or callouts into each one of your videos and have to recreate them every single time, this process is a lot quicker. Now, you could always go and copy them from your old videos, but that that can be difficult. If you're like me, maybe you have a, a drive or just your current projects live on. So once a project's done, it's off that hard drive and onto a storage drive. So to have to, you know, relink files and stuff, it's it's a hassle. This is going to be a lot, lot quicker. Okay, here's an example from one of my videos about me, I don't know, yapping about something. But I want to reuse this Instagram and Twitter call out. Well, how do I do that if this project is no longer on this hard drive. I can't copy and paste it. I mean, I could, I'd have to go find it, but again, we're not doing that. We're trying to do things quicker. I don't want to have to recreate them either. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to select both of those callouts as well as the little whoosh sound. I'm going to right click and make new compound clip. And we're just going to call this social callouts. Okay, now those are all a compound clip. Now this is a, in another video, I showed you how to export compound clips or batch export clips out of Final Cut Pro. That video is linked up top to see how to do that. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over to my smart collections, all videos, double click that, add a new selection, use media. We want that to be the only thing selected. And now I am going to find my compound clip. There it is. Going to go make sure that's selected and go up to file, share, export. Now this is super important. We've got to go to settings and we need to make sure that we select video and audio and make sure that we select ProRes 4444 because that's going to uh, keep the transparency. If you don't do that, if you do like ProRes 422 or H.265 or 264, or whatever, uh, it's not going to be transparent. And you're just going to have a black screen covering um, you. So we don't want that. So Apple ProRes 4444 keeps the transparency. Make sure that's selected. We're going to hit next. And we're going to go ahead and keep that in our YouTube assets folder, which lives on our edit drive. Hit save. All right. So if we create a new project and we're working on a project now, um, Here's an example of just that one clip and we want to use that overlay. So go to my finder, make sure I go to my YouTube assets folder and there it is social callouts. And we're just going to go ahead and drag that up top and bam, there it is. The cool thing is we can go ahead and resize that. We want to scale it up and move it around. We can do that. Have it take up the whole screen, whatever we want, but now you just have a template made that you don't need to recre recreate every time. It just lives in your assets folder, drag it onto each project that you want to use, and it's always going to be there, and it's going to be a lot quicker. You don't have to like search for it through old projects. This is great if you're doing client work and you need to reuse those, those uh, overlays a lot. Just export them as Apple ProRes 4444. Keep the transparency and you're good to go. I This is a technique I use. I use it for my intro, my outro, these call outs. I don't have to recreate them every time. They're just assets now and I drag and drop. That's it. All right. Hope this video was helpful. Give it a thumbs up if it was. See you in the next one.